Hello everyone, my name is Russell Rice and I'm with ThemeZoom.com. I'm here with Sue Bell today and we're doing our official underground uh, coverage of our new joint venture system that works in tandem with ThemeZoom and Kraken specifically in the last keyword tool. Um, Sue's also with us, she's running the, the show here because I'm, I've flown from Hawaii where I live to our main offices um, to be with Sue for the next few weeks so that we can actually go through this incredible system we're building. I'm really excited about it. Thanks for joining us, Sue. Thanks, Russell. This is exciting. This yeah. Is so we're trying a new format, kind of a mystery <coughs> science theater format. If we could, you'd see the backs of our heads like going through the software and making fun of everything that we didn't like and teasing Matt, who's actually programming over in, uh, where is he anyway? Scotland. He's in Scotland, so the time difference is quite a bit. Um, those of you who know us, we created the Theme Zoom application. It's a natural language processing and theme research clustering uh, technology that kind of leveraged itself off of keyword research. Um, you know, five years ago or so, in the last decade, I was known as the, the keyword guy, and Sue was the semantic um, revolutionist, or what's your blog called? The semantic, semantic revolution. Right? Um, you know, she's taught me a lot of what I know about the advanced natural language processing, which made me into a better keyword researcher and market researcher. In fact, so much so that I've moved off into other areas of study, such as um, semantics, memetics, and all these other things which we'll talk about later. But today, we're going to get into the Domain Web Studio. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into it, Sue. We are watching our time because we're going to be doing this in 15-minute uh, stints. And so I've got my iPhone app, you know, plugged in here. And, and every time the, the button goes off, we'll just move on to the next thing. For those of you who don't know what Domain Web Studio is, it's a market domination platform for the consumer in yeah. beta, pretty much. Yeah. We're kind of out of beta, Sue? Oh, we're out of beta, yes. Okay. And we're going to show you how the whole thing works. And uh, so we're inside the application. And the first thing that you want to do, right, Sue, is you want to start exploring. We're going to, the market that we're going to use is actually a client of mine. And it's going, it's a, we're going to show you the website on the next video. And the client is a green real estate investing company that focuses on sustainable green real estate. And so we're going to look at the, we're actually going to start keeping track of the keywords and all the things that, that are tied to the market. We're trying to bring back to the client uh, all the conversational keywords that are worth tons of money and see which ones apply to the products and service pretty much, right? Yeah. Okay, so the first one I think we talked about was um, pretty much, green, it was real estate investing. Right. And the reason we're doing real estate investing instead of green real estate investing is because green is the long tail. But in here, with a cluster name, uh, we can actually put our, our objectives, the cluster objective Use this as a focused objective for the client. What's the point of the series of this project? Remember, those of you who've been with ThemeZoom for years, we know, you know we've taught you to swallow your keyword market and your, your keyword market whole. That's kind of our slogan. And that means finding the clusters and theme clusters that your client can own and dominate. So dominate real estate investment and green real estate investment markets. Now we're going to go into an exploratory phase. So we just go ahead and create the cluster. Alright, so what have we done, Sue? We've cleared. So we've created a cluster. And this number <laughs> we've talked about is randomly created. Right. Okay. And so now we need to create a project within this cluster. Okay. So we're going to move over and create the project tied to the cluster with the, with the seed or the main master keyword, the root keyword being real estate investing. Right. Okay. And Sue is going, <laughs> and now we're going to go ahead and create the project. So, um, the best thing to do, if you don't know what you're doing, is to stick with the defaults. But I'm going to go through some of the stuff and talk to you about what you might want to think about changing. Okay. If you're in another country besides America, okay. then you're going to want to change from google.com to whatever's appropriate for you. Okay, so for example, this is google.de, which is Germany. Mm -hmm. So if you're in Germany, you can change the profile and it'll connect with whatever country you're in. So it, it, obviously your number is going to be different for different search engines. Right. Pretty basic. The SEO base cost is um, is a number that I can't wrap my head around how to use. It's okay. um, commonly done in the SEO market. It's not how I figure my SEO base costs. 
but it's how Matt figures his and what he says is industry standard. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, under his videos, I know he goes into more about what that number is and how to use it. Now, a silo of market size. Um, if you're working in a niche or if you're working in a foreign market, you're going to want to keep that at a million. If you're working in America and it's not really a niche, like we're actually trying to dominate a market that's larger than a niche, if we were going to go for green real estate, then I'd keep it at a million pages. Yeah, because green real estate is such a small, it's a long term. Right. But real estate investing is pretty it's broad. quite large. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say that the silos for that then need to be a minimum of 7 million pages. Okay, so just to reiterate what Sue said, in the United States, Sue uses about 7 million for the com number of competing pages for a term to actually assign it as a silo. Right. Between 7 and 20 million pages is usually my idea for a normal silo. If you're going above 20 million pages, then you're going to want to consider an extra tier in your website. Exactly. So if you guys have more questions on silo architecture, this video series assumes that you understand the website silo architecture, which was taught to me by my friend Bruce Clay and other instructors, but the concept was really brought to the search industry by Bruce Clay. So go to themezoom.com to learn more about that, okay? Right. And what about this one, Sue? Okay, so since it just changed the size of the silo to 7 million, from 1 million to 7 million, I changed the size of the article from 999,999 to 6,999,999. So it's, it's anything that's going to be below um, the size of the silo. Okay. And keep in mind, guys, what you're doing here is this is a calculator that we've essentially worked on to give you an idea of what you can expect as far as product. It's a, like a finger in the wind, right? Right. An estimation. Right. So when you actually start adding keywords, the software looks at what you've done here and puts up flags suggesting what category those keywords would fall into, whether they're going to be supporting keywords, long tail market size, or whether it's going to be uh, suggested for an article, or whether it's suggested for a silo level. So I mean, that's pretty, it pretty, pretty much blew my mind what, when we did look at that. It's like you'd actually toss up a flag and say, this is the appropriate place right. within the website structure for this keyword to be assigned. Right. I mean, how cool is that? That's just so totally cool, because then when you go to actually create your blueprint, in Kraken, you can specify that you want those keywords at that particular level, and we'll get into how to do it. Exactly. And just a quick interjection here, silo website architecture is the architecture of the site when done like this, set up like this, to help you rank for your keywords with far fewer inbound links in your competition because of the relationship right. that you're creating. Right. Okay. Now, the long tail market size, I usually keep that the same because what you're looking for there are keywords that you can basically rank with with a few inbound links and not really trying to target it in your title tags or in your header tags. So, you want those to be pretty niche. -y. Got it. And then you also have guys you can adjust this to be whatever it is that you decide. Right. You know, so, if you want to make long, your number of competing pages for a long tail keyword be much less or much more, feel free. We're just giving you guidelines, not rules. So, Although, Sue's been pretty accurate with the silo. This is an important one, so you want to. Well, so that's where all the flexibility is in this. That's why I love it. Like yeah. You can just mold it to really where you nice. need it to be. As you get more experience, you'll have a feel of what it is that you want to do. Now, backlink unit cost estimate. This is exciting. If you are um, outsourcing to the Philippines, mm -hmm. where um, it's much cheaper labor, then your costs are going to be less, mm -hmm. right? So you can get somebody to actually do a backlink, or at least to, to write their article for you for um, five, six dollars a pop. If you're doing it in America, then your cost, you can get the whole thing done, but the cost may be more like 30 bucks. So depending on where you're outsourcing to, um, you can come in here and tweak that number. And, and Just a, an insert here. Mm -hmm. I don't think all of our audience knows or who's watching us. This whole system plugs directly into ODesk and CrowdSource and other systems, mm -hmm. and it's isolated channels. So you can have people in your content and article production side writing, you know, completely quarantined from people who are working on pimping your Facebook blog or your, your blog or whatever. Exactly. And, and so you need to put what Sue is saying, this is important to write that. It, it is important. And the other thing that this is going to do is it's going to be used in your calculations. So when it, it tells you how much it's going to cost for you to rank for a keyword, it's using that backlink cost estimate. Got it. So these, this is going to help you determine, this is some data that you're going to have to bring to the system. So really think clearly about, um, you know, how much it costs you to create the content, 
and how much how many articles can be written per hour. Like this one, we had we're going to be adding some things because I don't do business necessarily in the same way. I don't determine my prices in the same way that he's given. But I could come up with a general average based right. on that. So you're going to want to consider that. And, and we wrote him last night and asked him to include a, a publishing price that's separate from the article writing price. Exactly, because publishing for me, I actually isolate my channels. I have people that syndicate and people that write, and I really can't blend them as easily. It doesn't give me as a precise thing, but right. you know, but this is definitely going to give you a finger in the wind. Absolutely. And this 300 is for your press releases on PR web. Right. So this is kind of we're kind of coming to the end of the first video. Okay. And things go pretty fast, you know, when you're explaining. This is a very, very nutrient-rich system. Um, for those of you who just want to jump in, uh, go to themezoom.com and click on the link that leads you to the DWS system. Uh, but just know that the last keyword tool and the natural language processing technology called Kraken, which Sue and Kelly and I have developed, are not a part of the introductory fee. But you can jump in and start getting to know this system, you know, literally for under 50 bucks right now. Yep. And uh, you know when you're ready to jump to Kraken and to the last keyword tool, and you'll know when you're ready because you'll see how it all connects. There'll be this Eureka. Okay, we'll see you on the next video.